boy, oh boy, we got a special treat for you. A K721G loader. This thing is not fun to play with. This is actually, yeah, I'm not very, I'm not a big fan of these things. But, it is what it is. <clears throat> oh, there oh. So today's little project, we're still digging into it, is this thing crapped the bed. So we got another one here. I'm going to change it out because apparently you can't take this apart or fix any of this. So it comes in one big chunk of plastic we get to throw away. But as for a later video, we're going to see if we can fix this. But right now I'm just trying to get to this thing. So I managed to get the piece of plastic off here. Still trying to get this one off. This is still solid onto something. You got hidden screws and nuts and bolts. Uh, this is kind of cool. So that flips up. I didn't even know that. You just kind of. And then there was a hidden bolt here for this panel to get off. So I got that off. But right now, this side panel is still on there really tight down here somewhere. Can't get this off. Underneath here, you got screws as well not very fun to get to and that's holding this down and uh yeah i'm thinking oh yeah there was another hidden screw in here too you can see it's kind of sitting here well it's just sitting there but it came from right there holding the other panel but the problem is it's still together so i'm going to try these two bolts now to see if that does anything wouldn't be so bad to change this, but you got the wiring which is tucked in behind here somewhere and you can't quite get access to it. But we're going to change that. I'm going to make this accessible somehow as soon as I figure out how all this comes apart. So if this, when, well, I shouldn't say if, when this happens again and you have to change this, it'll be easier and less time consuming and frustrating. Uh, well, back to digging. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here's the tools you're going to need for this particular job. A uh, magnet would be nice. A long swivel with a 10 millimeter socket. You need a 10 millimeter socket. A shorter one on your quarter inch wrench with one of those. Another homemade or other 13 mil. Another one of these. Uh, I do believe this is a T15. I'm not sure. Always. Uh, a few small zip ties, those little guys. A knife. Knife is always fun. And a light, of course. And, uh, yeah. Have fun wrenching. All right. Turns out those two, those two don't really do much of anything. There's another one here, but I think I found the other screw that I'm holding that other panel on. It's in behind there, right there. How the heck? Really? Uh, I'm gonna have to figure this out. I don't know what else you got to take apart. And all this just to get to that wire. The wiring right there. It's tucked in behind here. Which rolls up through here. So I need that side panel off. But this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Ah. Challenging. Everything's so challenging. Got these two screws off too already. here that holds the panel this panel you see it'd be a little easier if this whole panel I think there's one more screw hidden up in here somewhere because this doesn't move either you sure overbuilt this thing hey, hey, hey. Yeah. I'll 
keep struggling. Well, continuing on our journey, because, you know, that's what it is all about, right? It's, life is just a journey. Uh, we had two bolts here, and then three bolts this way, though. Three, and two, three bolts holding it to this plate on the uh, seat. That gave me access to not one, but two screws for the plastic on the other side. And I still can't get to whatever I need to get to over here. As well as two screws here on the other side to get the rest of this off so I can feed my wire here through the through this bellow. <sighs> so, yep. The struggle continues. I still don't know what this actually is here yet. I'm hoping to find out when I get this plastic off. And that's uh, quite the... Uh, they, they sure buried this thing pretty good. Now well, let's continue our journey. Ah, now that we got the plastic out of the way, be careful because this is, you know, small wire, so don't let it uh, drop too hard. This is your horn button. Uh, if, you know, if you weren't lazy like I am, you'd just unplug that and get this all the way out of the way, but... Ah. So, with that off, I finally got the other two bolt or two screws I needed on the other side here. Down below. Uh, for safety or whatever. Yeah, we'll call it safety. I just put this back up here, put a bolt in it just to hold it in place. Long enough for me to do stuff without it falling over and breaking anything. Or going through the windows or whatever. You know. That kind of safety. Pocketbook safety, let's put it that way. So off goes this humongous cover. Here's the other two screws I was talking about. They were just buried. And we'll get that out of the way. And now we're getting closer and closer to getting in here. And getting to what we really want to get to. Which is the wiring underneath. Which is actually very easy to get to now. It's just right there. Of course I got these stupid these stupid things on here. What for? Crap. Uh, that's always good to have rubbing against, against the frame, eh? Yeah. Can't see any problems going on there in the future. Jeez. Well, anyways, let's continue. bolts here uh, lose them on the floor as well the new one comes with new ones anyways so it's no big deal and just like that out she comes and now uh, I'm trying to hold you steady steady now for the four ten millimeter yes I do have I still have it I haven't lost it yet my ten millimeter socket Anyways, four 10 mil, mil bolts back here, because all this is all uh, zip tied all the way up. So, and this connector won't fit through the bellow anyways. So, that all has to come off too. And then, uh, yeah, and we slide it all together after. Good times, good times. Yeah, well, here we go. I think I figured out what I'm going to do here now. I'm going to take this. It can go back into its original spot down below here. And just basically it all sits in here. So what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to put these two screws in. I'm going to use the uh, foam. I'm going to put this over top. Just to keep from any kind of chattering or, you know, vibration rate. Keep it quiet because it's already got six other screws holding it all together. Plus, this thing here holds this part down, so I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. It'll hold it tight. Then I don't have to worry about taking this whole thing off. I could just take the back part off. This side will come off, and I'll have all the excess I need to both sides here. Just take this off. Even this will come off. 
and uh, yeah, so I won't have to remove this whole frame because we're here to, you know, not so much cut corners but cut time in the future because this will happen again. This here is unbelievable, believe it or not, they say this is not rebuildable. You can't get this switch. So they basically glued this thing together. You can just, you know, you can get it apart, no problem. And, uh, yeah, and then there's basically you just a little bit of solder or whatever, you get yourself another switch because this one still works, the trigger still works, a lot of stuff still works. But this is a throwaway part because, you know, you know, that's what we do nowadays. We throw things away all the time because, you know, the landfills just don't have enough of this stuff in it. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to save probably, I don't know, about 15 minutes worth of time not putting these two in. And, like I said, then you don't have to take this whole massive piece off it. That, yeah, that should do. Yeah. Somebody will thank me in the future, I'm sure. Yeah, and just like that, uh, she's uh, together. Nice and solid. I think, uh, yeah, I still got a couple, the other side has to be put on, obviously. But yes, got the screw in. Screw, screw, uh, way up there actually, in there. Those other two back here are not in there. And yeah, she's just as solid, just as solid as she was from factory without the two screws. Uh, this particular joystick, the wiring was a little bit longer, so I had to kind of loop it around here a couple times and stick it in there. But look at that, it's right there. It's right there. So, if anybody wanted to do this again, this is accessible now. This just pops right off. You don't have to take all of this off. And, uh, yeah. That'll uh, cut the time down on this, uh, on this project in the future for sure. There you go. Progress. And voila! Just like that. You almost can't tell it was taken apart. Just make sure you hide all the evidence. And, uh, yeah. We're about ready to take this thing out and, uh, give it a test run. Uh, make sure all functions are functioning the way they should. Make sure forward is actually forward and reverse is actually reverse. Because you never know. Depending on who made it, you never know. Uh, yeah. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Kind of. Auntie, maybe. 